Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. This week, what we're gonna do is explore rhythms and how rhythms of writing and thought and speech can help us connect to our characters and to connect to characters in new and exciting ways. This is gonna help you get jobs, connect to different plays, and unlock parts of yourself that you didn't know were there. So let's get started. Have you ever noticed that people talk in different rhythms? That when they're speaking, they have a different cadence in how they speak. And if you've ever been around people who have accents, you'll notice that that accent itself also has a different rhythm. Well, what if I told you that every human being has a different rhythm? <gasps> we have a different way of speaking. And you, as an actor, if you can understand that and start to mimic, listen, respond, and work with those rhythms, well then you're gonna open up different kinds of plays and texts that you can really take command of. Excellent! But how do you do that? See, every single writer, when they write, they're writing those characters, they're writing that speech with the rhythms that they have in their head. It's just something that happens, right? They're gonna write those out. But you have to be, as an actor, you're not gonna be working with just one writer, not gonna be playing just one character. So you need to be able to respond to a bunch of different kinds, and that takes practice. That means you're gonna to have to open up your observational skills. You're gonna to have to listen to the way people talk. You're gonna to have to listen to the way that, that songs flow, that accents flow, and you're gonna to have to be able to take different texts, read them, and start to interpret and understand the rhythms that are locked within that text. I am Joaquin, lost in a world of confusion. You may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll arise. And that's what this week is all about. So this week, what we are going to do is explore different rhythms with text and poems. So every single day, you are going to have a new poem. You're going to take this poem, and I want you to read it out loud. Read it a few times out loud so that you can get used to reading the speech, right? You're gonna be familiar with the words and you'll get a general sense of how the speech flows. Then we get into the exploration. So for the first part of the exploration, I want you to hold the speech. And the first thing that I want you to do is just move throughout the space while saying the lines. Sometimes when you're walking around, you're just going to find that there's a flow to the movement of what you're doing. Once you've done that, then I want you to sing those lines as though you were an opera singer. Sing the poem as though it were an opera. Okay, good. Now, once you've finished, now I want you to rap that poem. Okay, now that you've done that, now I want you to sing it as though it's a rock and roll song. Good, now what I want you to do is take the speech, take the text, and speak it as though it were a ghost story. Good, now what I want you to do is pretend that you're the wind, and this text, these are words from spirits, and you are going to say, Good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to sing all of those words as though you were Frank Sinatra and you were a jazz crooner. Okay, good. Now what I want you to do is sing those words as though they were a drinking song. Good. Now what I want you to do is say those words as though you are a kindergarten teacher and you are teaching children. So now be really animated and act out every one of those words. Now I want you to dance around the room as you say the speech. See if the rhythms changed. Good. And 
finally, what I want you to do is stand and read the lines and see what kind of rhythms have now influenced your reading. All right, now shake it off. So, what I want you to do now is each of those ways of doing it, hopefully some of them worked, some of them may not have worked. But what I want you to do is the one that worked the most, I want you to record yourself, I want you to upload that recording, and then I want you to sit down and watch other people in the class's recordings and see if they tapped into something that you didn't, and hopefully it'll make you want to go back and revisit that, that poem and help you try to unlock a little bit of what they did. See, so much of the time we learn by doing, but we can also learn by watching our peers make breakthroughs as well. Okay, I can't wait to see what you guys found and hopefully I can learn too. All right, everyone, I can't wait to see your videos and I'll see you soon.